What's up everybody, it's Yvonne with Trout's Fly Fishing back with your bi-weekly fishing report and forecast. Today is July 11th. Uh, it is full on summer down here in Denver, um, which means it's also summer up in the mountains. So uh, that's obviously something we've been waiting for for quite some time. Uh, runoff is starting to subside. We're starting to see drops and flows on all of our favorite free stones. And that means that summer fishing is upon us. We are on the sort of the beginning, the the impetus, uh, not the impetus, but the beginning of uh, really good summer fishing. So, uh, you know, I was talking with Zeke, our general manager and guide up there in, in Frisco, and, um, you know, he said, you know, looking at the hydrographs and from his time on, you know, the Colorado and the Eagle, uh, you know, the next two weeks are the weeks you want to be, uh, you want to be out there, no doubt, um, because the fishing is going to be outstanding. Uh, anytime you have big flows, and then those flows start to drop. You start to drop sediment out of that water, starts to clear up, w water starts to get a little bit warmer. And as that, you start to get a little bit warmer, uh, you start to have, you know, the plethora of summer bugs will start to come. So, uh, you know, golden stones are on, are on in our very near future. You know, yellow sallies have been making appearances. PMDs are out and about. Um, you know, caddis are still gonna be, you know, a main uh, source of food for many of our uh, free stone and tailwater fish. So, um, you know, it's the time to have a full fly box with a variety of bugs in all shapes and sizes and colors uh, because, you know, it can be lights out fishing this time of year. So, um, by no means is this saying that runoff is, you know, like over, over. We're still elevated over our, you know, average for this time of year. So we're seeing, um, you know, still seeing those elevated flows. It's still difficult. Uh, to wade to some of your you know your favorite spots but um you know based on how fast some of the rivers are dropping uh you know we're going to see them come into shape you know into this weekend and into the next weekend and um, beyond so uh, you know hopper dropper season is here big streamer season uh on the falling limb is here which i really enjoy fishing if you like fishing streamers i'd recommend fishing streamers on the falling limb you know fish are going to be moving to food uh, they have a little bit more clarity to deal with so they can see stuff but they're not feeling uh, the pressure of lower flows where they you know they get a little bit more spooky a little bit uh, tougher to sort of pattern in and uh you know they'll be eating eating really well so it's you know get your your big nymphs out get your small medium nymphs out get your small nymphs out be ready for everything uh because um it's it's summer fishing time you guys it's here we made it the last spring runoff lasted a little bit longer than i think we all would have liked but uh, that's obviously going to be a good thing for summer for summer fishing uh, and for fall fishing as well so we're going to see good flows into late summer and fall um, my assumption would be we're not going to see have issues with water temps and um, yeah it's a good thing for, it's a good time to be in Colorado there's no doubt about that so now let's break it down a little bit more um, tailwaters so tailwaters aren't dropping nearly as fast as the free stones but I would expect them to do so um, you know any all those reservoirs are, are getting are fill, are filled and um, you know as the water that goes into the reservoir starts to drop, they're gonna start to drop flows below the reservoirs as well. So uh, the dream's still a little bit bigger than I would like. It's at 509. Um, you know, once it drops like into the 400s, uh, down to 400, you know, upper 300s, uh, you really get into like a prime time uh, to, to be up there. Um, and you can still throw, you know, we're gonna be throwing bigger bugs um, you know, throughout the tailwaters and, and freestones with the, you know, the higher higher flows, but um, you know, also be ready to be in tune with you know, some you know, some of the smaller stuff, whether it be blue wings. Um, you'll still see blue wings in some mornings. You'll still see some midges on uh, some of the tailwaters in the mornings and the evenings. Um, and you know, trichos are. I'm assuming will be you know coming uh, you know in, in probably a month or you know less than a month but they're coming they're around the bend so um yeah so dreams dropping but you know i'd like to see it a little bit lower um you know 11 miles still pretty high but that's dropping as well deckers and cheeseman still a little bit high but that's dropping as well um and that means you know golden stones yellow sallies pmds um caddis blue wing olives midges 
you know, having a wide assortment of bugs, whether you, you know, your patch rubber legs, your wired stones, uh, your, you know, your 20 bombs, um, 20 inchers, that, that sort of stuff for the big, you know, big stone flies. And then, you know, dropping like Z-Wing caddis, graphic caddis, uh, you know, your, your favorite caddis pattern is sort of as a middle bug. And then maybe, you know, doing a, you know, a size 16 pheasant tail or, you know, Juju PMD. Uh, for your, your lower bug and you should cover the assortment. You know, as I said, don't forget some of those midges. Uh, we did, we were in Cheeseman and did see uh, quite a few midges coming off in the evening and fish were you know, keying in a little bit more on those things. They're not eating the big stuff as well as they ha will during the peaks, the peak flows. They're still gonna be eating worms, they're still gonna be eating leeches and crane flies, um, but they're gonna start to, as they see more of a wider variety of bugs, they're gonna start to key in more on um, you know, some of their favorite you know, snacks, whether it be PMDs or yellow salads or what have you. So uh, dry fly activity, some of our guys have seen dry fly activity, they've seen um, some bigger mayflies, seen uh, some you know, PMD eats and stuff like that. Uh, they're not fully on yet, they, you know, with the higher flows, there's not a lot of dry fly water to be had. Um, but that's that's coming as you drop flows. I would expect to see uh, you know see the daily emergence of PMDs and, and fish responding to them as as they should. So uh, be prepared with you know your favorite parachute versions of PMDs. Your you know you know even purple I like purple hazes for PMDs uh, on free sins and tailwaters. So uh, yeah. Again, next two weeks they're going to be really good. So uh, free stones. Eagle has dropped to 1920 from 3.5 thousand. The Colorado Kremlin from 5K down to 3,500. Arkansas has slided from 4K down to 2,100. And Roaring Fork from 8K at Glenwood to 4,800. So dry dropper seasons uh, right around the corner. Water is clearing. Fish are gonna be tuned into Caddis, Yellow Sally, Golden Stones, so big chubbies, you know, hippie stompers, simulators, uh, PMXs, you know, dropping you know, your favorite Caddis and, and uh, you know, tractor bugs for the Arkansas, you know, P, you know, hot belly PTs, uh, dirty birds, that sort of stuff for, uh, you know, the Colorado's not quite in shape yet. The Eagle is, is getting there. It's gonna be there, you know, probably within the week. Um, and, you know, the Arkansas is high, but you know definitely fishable. So, uh, Roaring Fork's not quite there yet, but uh, will be there soon. And um, yeah, it's good. Next two weeks, as Zeke said, are going to be very good. So, get on out there. Look forward to seeing you in the shop. Uh, if not, out on the water. And uh, yeah, get after it. Have a time because uh, summer's here.